In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this really cool motion graphic animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. And if you guys enjoy these kind of animation, then you should definitely check out my title animation playlist, link to which is in the description below. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started with today's video. all right so here we are in after effects but before we start uh, i get a lot of questions people asking me from where do i download this high quality png images of shoes so basically what you can do is head on to nike's official website and browse through their amazing collection of shoes and by the way this is not a sponsored video by nike but i wish it was and then uh, let's say i like this one this is the air jordan one mid se okay select the image that you like so in this case i want this one right click and open image in new tab and then right click and save image or copy image then copy it into photoshop and then basically i just remove the background using the pen tool so once that's done here we have our png image super high quality but i'm not using these kind of images for any commercial work because this is a licensed image so this is just for the tutorial's sake i'm not selling this uh, anywhere commercially this is just for educational purpose only <laughs> anyway so here we have our image now let's start by creating a new composition also one more thing one more thing before we start actually uh, you need to download this free keyframe wingman script which comes with animation composer again it's a free extension so just search animation composer in google chrome install it reopen after effects in case it's opened and then go into a windows and there you'll find the animation composer along with that you will see the animation composer keyframe wingman again it's completely free launch it and dock it wherever that you want now let's start by creating a new composition call this render as our main render comp let's go with 2k you can of course go with full hd if you want to 30 fps and 10 seconds long duration press ok then i'm going to drag and drop my nike shoes png image and then we need to separate the top and the bottom section of these particular shoes so i'm going to select this and then select the pen tool and try to be as precise as possible you can do it in photoshop but just for the tutorial's sake i'm doing it right now here and we can just create a mask like so now this color is not visible properly so i'm going to change the mask color to something that is much more visible like a red and then precisely i'm going to cut out the sole and the top section of the shoes like so just take your time don't rush okay and there you go all right and then i'm going to complete the mask like this okay so it's perfect i think now let's press ctrl d to duplicate it press m to bring down the mask properties and invert the mask okay so this is going to be our top section let's call this top and this is going to be our bottom or sole section so let's call this bottom so now we have the top and then we have the bottom section just check this if it's proper yep that is nice so now we can go ahead and animate this first of all let's scale this down a little bit somewhere around there but now when we animate this because the texture looks very weird during animation i'm gonna add a very simple and quick fast blur effect on this so let's go ahead add fast box blur and set this to 0 0.2 very very minimal so the texture doesn't mess up during the animation so it's very minimal and it's almost not noticeable so let's go ahead and animate the position first so i'll go to around one second select the top section press p to bring down the position property i can press ctrl shift h so we can hide the control layer so it doesn't interfere in our field of view create a keyframe on the position okay now let's go to one second select the top section okay and right now my anchor point is set in the center of this particular image so i need to place the anchor point at the bottom so i'll select the pan behind tool and i can just place this right here make sure it's properly lined up yep at the bottom select the top section press ctrl shift h so we can hide the control layers and then press p to bring down the position create a keyframe let's go to around 20 frames one second and 20 frames move this up like so go to two seconds and 10 frames create a keyframe then i'll go to around two second and 20 frames move this a little up and then at around let's go with maybe 
3 second and 10 frames i'm going to copy this keyframe from the start so control c control v so now we have something like this we have a little bit of anticipation here and then it swaps in like so okay so right now it looks very very linear okay not a problem that's a fine for now i'm going to add the text really quick so select the text tool and type in whatever that you want i'm going to type in air jordan for the font i'm using pneumatic gothic feel free to use any uh, these kind of uh, compressed or condensed font because that would look really cool with this particular kind of style that we are going for okay so that is fine and on this uh, text i'm going to add an effect called warp double click to apply that set this to squeeze and set the bend to around 70 should be fine okay i'll move this right here let's increase the size of the text so it completely re reaches at the top and the bottom of the image like so okay and then i'll move the anchor point of this text to bottom as well so i can select the anchor point and holding shift i can snap it at the bottom like that so i can even unlink the scale property and animate the text as well which we will need to do i'll place the text layer below everything so now we have something like this which looks quite nice so let's go right here select the text layer and create a keyframe on the scale go back and set this to around maybe 10 or something now we have something like this then i'll create a keyframe right here so it stretches a little bit like that and then it comes down again to 10. so basically now we have something which looks like this pretty cool now let's select all the keyframes you can press f9 to easy ease them or simply easy ease go into the graph editor right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph in case if you're not just select it so we need to tweak a little bit of settings here so firstly i'll tweak this one so i'll move this maybe something like so okay so that is looking quite nice then i'll select this one there you go and this one something like so i think this is a bit too slow so i'll select these two keyframes and bring them a bit closer so now we have something like this yeah but still a secondary animation is missing that squeeziness in case imagine if you are doing this animation in real life there will be a little bit of squishiness i must say so let's add that using the scale property so i'll select this press s to bring down the scale property and create a keyframe on the scale unlink the scale make sure you unlink the scale and then press u so we can see the keyframes go a few frames backward in time and let's set this one to something like around there so we have a little bit of let's move this keyframe backwards in time and here i will add a little bit of oh make sure you unlink this a little bit of squishiness maybe somewhere around there and then go right here and set this to something like 76 so we have something like this so it stretches and right here it's back again to 66 okay then right here again create a keyframe i'll move this right here maybe i'll go to around three seconds and set this to around i don't know 75 or something so it's something like that set this to 60 60 is way too much maybe 62 and then back to its original size that was 66 and then i'll select all the keyframes and using the keyframe wingman let me show you what uh, this is going to do if i tweak this keyframe wingman and if i go into the graph editor you can see oh make sure you select everything you can see i can use just one single handle to control all the keyframes so that is quite nice and that is why this keyframe wingman comes in really handy for these kind of animation and as you can see now we have secondary animations as well so i think i'll bring that down to around 74 so now we have a little bit of you know that secondary animation but it looks quite on quite nice i think so maybe 64 or something 
you can see that squishiness a little bit of squishiness and that completely sells out the effect and looks very nice then i can also turn on the motion blur that is going to enhance the complete look now we have this nice uh, motion blur as you can see pretty cool and finally to add some depth i can select the top layer right click go into layer styles and let's add a drop shadow set the angle to 90 and i'll set the distance to zero for now no let's set the distance to 30 actually and set the size to 120 and let's add a little bit of noise of around three percent maybe i'll bring down the opacity a little bit like so around 70 should be fine okay and then copy the layer style control c and paste it on the bottom section as well press u two times to reveal all the properties and let's change uh, the angle to zero so there we have it a nice drop shadow we bring down the and increase the intensity or the opacity so something like that looks much better now we need to animate the opacity of the shadow as you can see right here it's not looking perfect so i'll select this press u so we can see the keyframes so right here okay fine then i will go into the layer styles again drop shadow opacity create a keyframe on the opacity go back right somewhere around here and set this to zero so now we have something like this pretty cool and similarly when it snaps back i'll create a keyframe right over here i'll set this to zero perfect and then we can just simply easy ease the keyframes so now let's preview this okay so that is looking quite nice there is a little bit of weird movement right here which i don't really like so to fix this i'll go ahead and select this move this maybe a little bit somewhere around there and bring down the values a little bit to around 72 yep that is looking much better all righty right then we can select everything press ctrl shift c to pre-compose it let's call this shoe and um, press ok and then you can scale that down move it wherever that you want but also one more thing that i like to do here is to add a simple wiggle effect that makes the complete animation look much more interesting so i'll select the shoe layer press p to bring down the position hold alt and click on the stopwatch and let's type in a very simple wiggle expression with a property of 1 comma 20. so now we have a little bit of movement if i zoom in you can see handheld camera feel and it looks really really cool i think so that is basically how i created this um, really interesting text animation or text reveal uh, you can say using some really simple techniques as you saw and by the way if you guys are interested in learning more such cool techniques i have a complete playlist to some really cool text animation that you can check it out link is in the description and um, yeah that is all for today guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and comment down below you can follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pavar and if you're feeling generous please do support us on patreon as well with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out